I think it looks pretty good. Dude, I think I did okay. <sighs> So I was recently sent the brand new Atomstack A10 laser engraver. Um, this is a fantastic laser engraver. So this is a laser diode laser engraver, which basically means it uses a small blue laser um, compared to CO2 lasers, which are more, uh, more likely used for cutting glass and acrylic and stuff. In the user manual they give you, they actually go over all the materials you can cut and engrave with. There's actually a QR code that they include in this manual that you can scan with your phone and it brings up a website with all of the settings and profiles of everything you want to cut. Now, I personally have only tested a few materials with this. I've tested the wood that they sent with the actual laser engraver and it worked beautifully. I can put up a picture right here, um, as well as a video if you want proof. And I started thinking, wouldn't it be cool if I made one of those like holographic, like wall hanging things with like the LEDs and stuff, you know, engrave some acrylic and make a, make a custom sign for my wall. You know, pretty cool, right? Uh, the, one, the one thing that isn't the best for this laser engraver is it doesn't cut or engrave acrylic. Um, I know in their settings it says it does, but after doing some research, it doesn't have the right frequency. So in order to do this, we kind of have to hack the laser engraver a little bit. Doing some research on YouTube, I, I came across this video. This video by Makers Mashup will be linked in the description. It basically goes over all the hacks and different settings you have to use in order to do this with the blue diode laser. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be making my LED sign with this little hack and we're going to see how it goes. Just a little disclaimer for the beginning of this video. Um, this is going to jump around a lot. You're going to notice I'm wearing different outfits and I look different in every video. Um, I've been filming this in between classes because I'm in college. So if you notice it's a little everywhere, like all over the place, um, that's why. Just wanted to put that out there. Anyway, enjoy the video. <laughs> so this is the actual laser engraver itself. Gives you all of the power ratings and uh, statistics right here. Something I learned um, very quickly after using this laser engraver for a second. You have to make sure that the emergency stop button is not pressed when you power it on. Because I could not figure out why it wasn't turning on. The display wasn't turning on at all. It was just black, but I could hear it running. And I was like, like I emailed the company and I was like, why isn't this working? And they were like, oh you probably have the button pushed and it was pushed. You have to kind of just lift it and twist it and it pops up and it it's uh, disabled. Just a disclaimer. If you have that problem, it is not broken. You're just stupid. <laughs> um, this is the uh, emergency stop button in question that totally tripped me up, but it's, it's fairly straightforward. I've never actually had to use a reset button, but I do use this TF card slot a lot. Um, this is actually the, they don't give you a TF, a TF card, which is um, one of my like only complaints. Um, this is actually from my 3D printer. So you'll have to probably go buy one. And uh, this is a uh, touch screen monitor, which is super awesome in my opinion. And it's magnetic, so you can just stick it to the bed like that. Yeah, it's, a, it's actually a huge laser engraver. I believe it's 16 inches by 16 inches, which is pretty big. I actually, I bought a sheet of uh, 18 by 24 and I cut it down to size. So it is 16 by 16. I, I maxed out the laser engraver and it, it's awesome. It's actually bigger than my table. I had to take it off of this. Um, we're gonna be putting it somewhere else. It also gives you all of these measurements right here. Um, but I've found that it's more helpful to use some kind of like measurement system on your table instead of relying on these just because it's kind of hard to line them up. Another really awesome feature about this is that it comes with this metal sheet. You put it behind your projects when you're using the laser engraver so it doesn't totally engrave your table. So as I've mentioned, I did try to engrave my acrylic. It doesn't engrave acrylic. Uh, let me show you what happened when I tried to engrave my acrylic. So I have this really nasty burn in my cutting board. Um, basically what happened was it just went straight through the acrylic. It was the entire time just carving out this cutting board. I'll teach you the hack I learned from YouTube and show you how it worked out, but using their settings and without using this hack, you're gonna get something like this. So first thing you're gonna wanna do is upload your design. Um, I actually already had one, so I just edited this in Photoshop real quick and turned it into a transparent. I actually used Lightburn for this, which is not the software they recommend, but I prefer it over what they recommended. And there are tons of tutorials online to show you how to do this. I'll link some in the description as well if you need help figuring it out, but it was fairly self-explanatory. Then I had to cut my plastic to size. Here's a really awful noise if you want to hear it.
And this is mainly where the hack comes in. We're basically using black tempura paint. Um, the reason why we use this paint is because it's completely water soluble. So you can paint this on, we use it to engrave, and then we wash it off and it comes off real clean. So we're just gonna do three to four layers of this. In the video, he uses an airbrush, but I just paint it on by hand just because I am lazy. And then you're gonna wanna put that painted side face down so it's not engraving into the paint, but it's engraving onto the, the glass on top. And then let her rip. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. Actually, hold on. The spring light is not helping right now. But you can see how it engraved. You can really see the, uh, the words, the lettering. Look, it's me. <laughs> so I custom modeled this LED piece. Basically just allows a slot for the glass and the LED as well and some holes for some zip ties to attach it to my grid. The holes on the side are for zip ties. So this will go right on top like this. Ah, can't do it with one hand. Right on top like this. If it'll focus. There's a space for these LEDs at the top. And then I'm also just taking these LEDs and we're gonna be threading them through on the bottom. See, there's a space for it. Um, so they'll be really well hidden and then this should light up really, really well. All right, so now we have the top and the bottom and just kind of roughly attached. I just kind of popped it on there. And then I also cut these LED strips to shape or to length, I should say. Um, so basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue these little um, plastic pieces onto the frame and then we're gonna glue these in. And I have to actually wire this to the other LED strip along the side, that way it continues. And then we should be good to go. I should just be able to mount this on my wall. So I'll be back when I do that. So this was the final, oh, it's focused on me. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna do a different, different thing. So this is the final result. Um, I actually think it came out pretty good. The, the downside though is that with things like this, you kind of have to keep the lights off to really see it well. I actually closed the windows too, just to help. Um, but it is decently visible. Um, the lines are pretty crisp. So I do think this method that I used works really, really well. Cable management could be better. Um, the zip tie and everything, like it looks a little messy, but you're not really gonna see it up close. So I'm not too worried about it. I might fix it off camera or like some later date, but for the purposes I'm using it for, and for this video, I think it looks pretty good. Dude, I think I did okay. So yeah, um, if laser engraving interests you, if you wanna try something like this yourself, um, I do recommend this laser engraver. However, you just have to make those slight uh, hack adjustments for the acrylic. Otherwise, any other material, you're pretty much good to go. It's got great safety features, although I do recommend you don't leave the room when you're cutting with the laser engraver just because, you know, just for safety purposes, just in case something happens to go wrong. But yeah, it's it's a great it's a great laser engraver. Um, I'll have a link in my bio. Um, and I also have a link to the video I used for the hack. Leave a like if you think this is helpful. If you like this video, uh, maybe subscribe, that'd be really cool. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.